What's going on everybody? This is one week post ACL surgery. Also got my meniscus done. Last Wednesday, got surgery. Um, this is how I'm walking right now. Um, I've been mostly just uh, laid up right here on the couch. Um, haven't been doing anything but just resting, obviously. I'm supposed to see my doctor this Friday for a follow up and I assume I'll probably start uh, physical therapy uh, the following week, but uh, one week with ACL surgery, oh man, let me tell you, let me tell you, the first day I was so naive, um, I don't know what I was thinking, maybe just because like it was like seven hours after my surgery, I still thought like uh, the pain kind of set in, like I was like, this is it, like this is really not much, I can like really work with this. The first day of sleep was pretty easy, but let me tell you, day two, day three, day four, Day five, day six, all kind of the same pain level. Day six, the pain decreased maybe a little bit, but oh man, it's been it's been pretty painful. I also want to say that every ACL surgery is different, and you don't want to compare yourself to anybody. There's a lot of types of ACL surgeries. I got my ACL done and my meniscus. Some people just get their ACL done. Some people get a lot more done. So don't compare yourself. You don't want to do that. But it's cool to see a reference point and to see somebody going through the same thing as you are. And this is my first time having knee surgery on my ACL. Uh, I became a pro with the crutches though. Walk backwards. Nice and slow with the crutches. Don't want to go too fast. But pain, the pain right now is at like a six, five, pretty bearable. But these last few days, the pain has been pretty high. Like at an eight, eight and a half. I think I can go through the pain now, but. Yeah. Oh, uh, what an experience. What an experience, let me tell you. Uh, ACL surgery sucks. You just feel so, I've never been so vulnerable in my life. Like if something were to happen in the world, I can't even run away. Like, <laughs> you just gotta leave me. Like, I can't even run away. Like I've never been so, so vulnerable. I really haven't. Like, just for the fact that I can't run away if something were to happen in the world, I'm just a sitting duck. Just leave me, you know? Come on, come with us. No, leave me. Just leave me. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the weird noises. You make a lot of weird noises when you have ACL surgery. <laughs> I'll be moaning. <laughs> Lana would be right here on my dad, and I'd just be like, oh, it's all randomly, and they look at me. <laughs> I'm a very expressive, dramatic person through my noises. My dad went back to work today. He had to. They're very busy down there. They needed him, but he was able to be here a week for me, so I'm just grateful for that. He'll be gone for a few days. Uh, Lana has been coming over pretty much every day. But she's gonna be coming over for this day. They want, she wants me to come over to her house and to uh, stay there while my dad's at work. But I don't know. I really don't want uh, her mom to see me like this. Cause like, you know, like at nighttime, I'll be getting up to go pee sometimes, and I'll be making some noise. Just like ah, uh, like I see myself like walking in her little their their hallway, and I'm just like ah, uh, I have to be quiet, you know. But that, and I don't want. I just don't want. I just don't want her to see me like this. I've never been so weak. I've been binge watching a lot of stuff. My newest thing is Ozark. That is really good. I can't believe I haven't watched that yet. Ozark is a good one to binge watch. But I'm happy, but I'm happy because this is the first week and I think the worst of it has came and I've gone through it and it's been an experience. It's been an experience. Now I understand all those people I have seen with their leg or heard that they got their ACL torn. I understand now. I understand you. Just hang in there. Um, you know, it's a process, it's a journey, but hey, each day it gets better and better. Kind of. Some of the days, like the first few days, like when you first get it, like day two or two day six are the same. But I finally feel like at day seven, um, the pain decreased a little bit. Um, I'm able to not take the medication. But just know every day, you know, it gets better and it's just a journey, you know, but it's cool to see yourself gain like, you know, your movement back. I can start feeling my leg a lot more. I can, the, the, the motion, the range of motion is coming up a little bit. So just hang in there, 
you know, you got people around you that love you. Uh, just hang in there. It's all about that mental game, you know, because physically you're you're out of it right now. So just got to keep keep a strong head right now because your mental game has to be on point. Think how blessed you are. Like I said, the shower, getting in the shower the other day was a, you know, like took me like 20 minutes. So now that I, when I take a shower in the future, like two years from now, and I just get in there all quick, I'm just gonna be like, oh, like, <laughs> I have it so good. Don't worry about me, guys. I'm gonna be fine. I'm getting better and better. Um, I hope you guys are doing good yourself. Keep a strong, strong head on your shoulders. Uh, all about that mental game right now, guys. And just keep, keep moving forward. And I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, much love from your boy, Josh Garza. I will see you guys next time. This is only one week, so we're gonna get better and better. And let's get it, guys. 2020, all decade. Let's get it.